You have a Hi, sound. My name is Pete Friedman. I'm the founder and publisher of centraltrack.com and you are tuned into the latest edition of our ongoing live game show event, Shit Happens. Uh, Shit Happens is a game produced by the folks at uh, Games Adult Pl Adults Play within Goliath Games out of Plano, Texas. Uh, they've been big supporters of ours over the last year or so. And this is our, as I said earlier, seventh version of this game. We've had some uh, incredible contestants over the course of our run uh, from porn stars to Grammy Award winning uh, musicians and comedians at all points in between. We've got a, a phenomenal group of contestants with us today as well. Uh, let's go through and meet them real quick before we get into the gameplays. First up, we've got uh, the infamous Ivy Owino, AKA DJ Poison Ivy. What's up, Ivy? Oh, you know, just going wild. They <laughs> yeah, absolutely love you. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm I'm great. It's you know, it's Tuesday. It's um, Taco Tuesday. You know, uh, with Taco Tuesday is just unofficial my margarita day. So if that tells you how I'm. I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. Uh, this we're with the uh, the specific edition. So there's the game we're playing tonight is called Shit Happens. Uh, there's many issue uh, versions of it, like add-on packs. There's one called Fifty Shades of Shit, which is all about like sex stuff. Uh, we're specifically playing not shit. Uh, yeah, uh, we're specifically playing the uh, uh, Spring 2020 edition, uh, which was released at the top of the pandemic. And here we are in winter 2021 still uh amidst all this ivy what's your life been like for the last year i know it's been kind of uh, uprooted given uh the prominent role you have throughout the city yeah you know that changed things a little bit um i think it's safe to say so you are an in arena dj for a prominent sports team in town yes yes i am recently. i know a league that has three letters <laughs> 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 are okay you, anyway just, so if people watch the games at home are they mm -hmm. seeing like are you do you cue every noise like all of it like i do i do and that's the thing like you know right now the i would i beg to differ that oh man you know i would say it's an easy split 50 50 you know percentage of why i get to go to work is because i'm needed not only for the in arena atmosphere but for the broadcast yeah um, so yes I mean, yeah so how did i do earlier in queuing the applause because that's something you're like a legit pro at it was great you know i have so much respect for podcast radio you know twitch and youtube and like all just producers artists all of that stuff i mean we're we too are essential workers you know i think one thing that i've you know, really be on a quest to do is to 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 add my two cents um, in this long laundry list of essential workers, your journalists and your entertainers and your creatives. Like y'all have made it through quarantine because of us. You feel me? I mean, everyone's going through it. I think I think it's you know uh, anyone who's just hanging on deserves a, a pat on the back. Uh, yeah, right for now. sure. Anyone, uh, so, uh, yeah. Can can I ask? Listen, you I don't mean. Can I ask you about 214 Day? You can ask me about 214 Day, but before we go to 214 Day, can I can I just say something? Granted, oh. um, I'm you know, this this is today, and so you know, it's this weird time in January where obviously I live and breathe in the basketball world. So just you know, to all fans of um, you know, Kobe Bryant and all families and anyone who is affected, just I think it's like uh, you know we underestimate sometimes the effect that that had on all of us. Um, so definitely just sending some love and spirits, um, obviously to all families affected. And just yeah, I, I, I agree. I remember where I was when that happened, which is uh, and just doesn't feel like uh, it's been a year, let alone you know everything that we've gone through since then. So uh, yeah. strong words there, and I appreciate the sentiment, Ivy. Uh, we'll talk to you more in a minute. Let's meet our next contestant with us this evening. It is uh, Dallas rapper, MC creative extraordinaire, 
pretty boy, Aaron. What's up, Aaron? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? So, crowd still loves it. So uh, <laughs> the crowd is here for the, the crew we've assembled. Uh, how are you doing, man? What's, uh, what's the last, I guess, like 10, 11 months yeah. been like for you as a performer here in town? Uh, it's been all right. You know, uh, I've done a few online shows and stuff like that, and I made a little money off of that. But I'm just really just trying to lock in and try to actually like finish music. Cause yeah. I create, I've made a bunch of music over, uh, over the last like year or so, but and you released it, some so. stuff. Yeah. I've, I've released a couple songs. Yeah. And including some, some music videos. I mean, you, it seems like, you know, you've been able to maintain your creativity for those who don't know, mm. uh, you know, you're, you're, uh, you, uh, you've been, you've been a part of the scene for, I'd say probably around three, three, four years. Yeah. Now. Around, yeah uh, around three or four. Yeah. Including, you know, and, and released some great tracks over that time. Some really cool collaborations with people like Luna Luna. Mm -hmm. You know, your song Comb Your Hair uh, made our, our best songs of the last decade yeah. out of Dallas. This. Mm -hmm. um, I know you were mentioning earlier when we were catching up, you've got some collaborations in the works as well. Do you want yeah, to talk yeah. some about that? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to, or like, I have another song with uh, Luna Luna that should be coming out. I don't know when, but it's coming out soon. And that one's, I feel like cause we worked on a bunch of music together. This is my favorite song we've worked on so far. Man, so that's that exciting to hear because I, I I think there's a there's a cool interplay between y'all's styles. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I there's agree. and there's kind of like this this whole like scene that I think you're a part of of like there's like this genre blending kind of like almost like little dragon meets yeah. hip hop meets mm -hmm. like there's this whole kind of collection that you I think both y'all fit under. Uh, I, is, I mean, do you do you, do you see that scene as well? Yeah, I do. Uh, I was I was thinking about that earlier today. I was like, it's just crazy how those are sounds you wouldn't expect like joining together, but like somehow like, like me and my friends were doing that kind of stuff. And so it was cool yeah, to man. see. It's, it's really exciting to, to watch. And, and uh, I, I look forward to hearing that future Luna Luna and additional right, collaborations. You. Our, our last guest uh, today uh, is Natty Casanova, AKA the zombie unicorn. What's up Natty? <laughs> hey. Crowd also a big fan. Thank What's you. up? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Well, the best day possibly can be, you know? Yeah. So this is fun. I know. So Natty, you're based out, out in LA, but we met years ago when you were a journalism student at Brookhaven here in <laughs> Dallas. It's been really yeah. fun watching you over the last like decade plus uh, become this like streamer personality, like especially over the last year. I know that's when I discovered you were still doing stuff like or actively doing stuff Internet on Twitch stuff. where you've got like 250,000 followers. You're named Twitch streamer of the year. Like it feels like these these platforms of video stuff have really been kind of blowing up throughout the pandemic as people are uh, looking into all that. What's what's the past last year been like for you as a as a streamer? Well, I got into streaming on Twitch like back in 2012 while I was still studying journalism and I um I hurt my ankle so I couldn't like work a regular job and I was just kind of staying at home and I started gaming online and Twitch had just kind of started around then. So I started an account and I've just been streaming ever since. So I got in like really early and just kind of stuck with it. But one of the greatest things about it is that I spend so much time at home on the computer already that like the pandemic wasn't much different of a, you know, job change for me. Yeah. I just don't go anywhere else. <laughs> Like have you found like do, have, are the audiences bigger over the pandemic it it you know i think it's kind of evened out it was a little there was a boost a lot i love seeing a lot of like musicians and all kinds of people coming to the platform and stuff doing like live shows and dj sets i really enjoyed that because i've just like seen sprinkles of it over yeah. over time but like now there's been this huge boost and i really like it um there's Watching your feed, I mean, you, there's kind of all sorts of stuff. There's like makeup tutorial stuff. There's gaming stuff. Oh yeah. Political rants sometimes. What, oh, def what? definitely some political. <laughs> Can you uh, do you want to explain kind of what 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 you do on 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 Twitch? Like, so I mainly what? yeah, I mainly stream games. That's kind of what Twitch started as. But I've been there so long, I've kind of learned that to be successful, one of the easiest ways to do it is to like diversify. And, you know, I like doing a bunch of stuff like makeup and beauty or um, music. Sometimes I suck, but like, I, you know, play music or I'll just sit there and have a conversation, talk about the news and stuff. I get to incorporate my 
love of journalism and, you know, like activism and stuff. And I use my platform to talk about stuff. I do like a, a weed cooking show and stuff too. <laughs> California awesome. has legal weed and it's great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, so great. I do a little everything. Yeah. I love it. I love the variety. I love how when you turn in, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, that is a, a professional segue into the fact that this game, Shit Happens, well, is going to throw all of us some shitty life scenarios. Uh, and the game's all about how we react to them. That's what we're playing here today. Um, the winner of our contest will take home a prize pack of games from our friends at Games Adults Play. But let's just get right into it. Ivy, you are uh, going to kick us off. We're going to check out uh, what you're dealing with. The way this game works is first, everyone's going to be dealt three cards uh, from a pack. Uh, we're doing a digital version, but there's hard copies of these cards as well. Um, Ivy's gonna get three cards that describe shitty scenarios, and then a new card is gonna pop out of my head, and she's gonna have to decide, does this uh, new scenario, like where does it fit on the range of the shitty shit she has to deal with? Uh, so let's check out Ivy's board of shit. Uh, Ivy, your first card is, Uh, your kid gives your dog a peanut butter bath. So that, I mean, 23, as we can tell, uh, these scores are on a zero to 100 scale. Ivy, you got a kid, do you have a dog? What's funny is, <clears throat> okay, so. Are we talking quiet have, so she doesn't hear? I have a kid, obviously she's eight. Yanni is amazing. We're getting a dog. Well, she doesn't know the dog's coming home on the sixth and check this. The puppy was actually born on her birthday. And mm. I've had to like- Good mom make... of the year over here. I know. But anyway, so that's why I saw this and I was like, holy fuck. Like- how? Okay, this... so so let's, how would you feel if if uh, on the seventh, the new pup, <laughs> I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to give anything away. I don't know how loud the volume is in your room. I'm OCD as shit. I'd be pissed. Okay, all right. So you'd so, be yeah. pissed. But the the, yeah. the the writers of the game give it a twenty three. Let's check out your next uh, okay. your next card, and this is going to help us get a sense of how how broad <laughs> these things are. Your employer bounces your paycheck. Uh, we're kind of down, dancing around who your employer is, and I'm not going to ask if they've ever done this to you. Uh, but that's a fifty nine point five. Uh, let's check out your next card. Let's just move right on. <laughs> uh, your your last phone charger died. Oh, okay. So this is giving a sense of kind of how the game looks at things. Uh, as I've told all of our, our contestants in previous games, uh, this game was written by uh, the same guy who wrote the USA Network show Monk. And uh, he also wrote for like Letterman. Uh, so it's a white male comedy writer, if that helps you at all with trying to figure out some of the perspective of this stuff. But I know that they try to figure out like, you know, try try to be as, as broad in, in the interpretation as possible. So now what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a card popping out of my head and Ivy, your job is going to be guessing if it falls below your lowest low, higher than your highest high or between uh, any two, two cards you have on your board, uh, two adjacent cards. If you get it wrong, Aaron, you'll get a chance to steal. If, if, if Aaron gets it wrong, Natalie gets a chance to steal. It will not go back to Ivy after. So it behooves okay. us all to pay attention because let's say Ivy's wrong about her range. That's going to inform where it doesn't fall on, on y'all's games too. So Ivy, you're, you're, you've been accused of hoarding PPE, which is like a major thing at the top of the pandemic. Y'all remember the, the toilet paper scare? Yeah. Oh yeah, I went through. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to say I got to a point where I was like, mm, I should have probably taken this seriously. I was one of them. So, okay. So, where, so, uh, looking, remembering this and looking at the, the cards on your board, where do you think it falls? Do you think it falls between two of these or uh, below your lowest low or above your highest high? This is the tone setter for the entire game because oh, I can no see pressure. Natalie and Aaron both le leaning in. <laughs> So hold on, and you said it's one it's one chance, so we're not getting three strikes. So if you zero, get it right? wrong, Aaron gets a chance. Yeah. Okay, cut. So here's the thing. It's January of 2020. So had we been playing this in like 
That's actually very May. smart. Yeah, this this is the spring 2020 edition. We're in January 2021. Of 2020, right. So 2020, this would have been like hot shit. Like you would, it was like up there with everything else, right? So this is, that's brilliant deduction. I'm glad we've gotten that out of the way. Get it, having that perspective <laughs> of the mindset at the time we were, this game was written. Okay, given okay. that idea, I love where your head's at. You need to answer, okay. Um, I would say... That is in between your employer bouncing your paycheck. Okay. Wait, your last phone charger died. So um, so you think it's between a 59.5 and a 78.5? I I would say so, yes. Let's check with our judges. That is correct. Hey. <laughs> Ivy gets us off to a brilliant start. Everyone's starting with three points on their scoreboard because they start with three (laughs) cards. Uh, We are racing to eight. Now that Ivy got that correct, that card will be added to her board. So she will have four on her scoreboard, which represents how many cards she has. So as the game goes, it gets harder and harder because you have to fit in, in, in smaller margins. We're racing to the first person to get eight points. All right, moving on to Aaron's shit. Aaron, we're about to see your first, uh, three cards that you're dealing with. So uh, let's check them out. Uh, You've drunk texted your ex. I think we've all been there, Uh, but it's a 22 out of a, out of a hundred. That's kind of low. That feels low to you. All right. Well, let's see, let's see what the rest of the rest of the game has in store for you. Your second card is uh, those season tickets are gathering dust. Are you a season ticket holder? No, I'm too broke for that. Uh, Well, we can't get into like, Ivy's connections, but like <laughs> that, I know some people who would be pissed about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see your third card. Boom. Oh, your house burns down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So it's fine. So these were totally right. randomly shuffled. But what's crazy about this is you've got a pretty broad range yeah. there between your mm-hmm. your top two cards. Uh, let's see the card you're going to be dealing with popping out of my head right ne- about now. <laughs> oh, anal Bro. oh, okay, man. Ten go in, seven come out. Aaron, how do you feel about ass play? It is what it is, you know. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but so, uh, I think I think the crux here is that uh, we have three missing anal beads. That's, yeah, that's one way you could discuss this. That's kind of um, bad, but yeah, yeah. looking at mm-hmm. looking at your your range, what what do you? Have, I mean, anything come to mind? I mean, it it has to go between uh, season tickets and house burning down. So you're are you just yeah. playing the numbers game here? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna play the numbers game. All right, let's check with our judges. That is correct. It's a ninety-four. Right, Okay, so we, we're off to the races here, folks. Yeah. We got two people with uh, each one for one. Natty, you got to keep pace. Uh, so we're going to add that card to Aaron's board. Uh, Aaron, you'll have four cards to choose from moving forward. Yep. And then we're going to move on to uh, Natty's board and get a new card. Oh boy. Uh, 94. Is anyone surprised about the 94? Or does that seem about right? I mean, that's something you have to go to the hospital for, probably. Yeah. Or you have sure. to, like, shit it out or something. I was, but, yeah, I was yeah. maybe it could pass. Yeah. Is, it, yeah is, it, is it, like, swallowing a penny? I was going to say, can we talk about how this ends? Like, I would love Fiber. to know how that, yeah, how that <laughs> is. So this off. card has actually come up, I think, every single time we played this game. And it's, uh, I, I'm always reminded of the Richard Gere uh, urban legend. <laughs> I, 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 you, y'all might be too young for that. But do you guys know that? That I probably no. I probably shouldn't be uh be proliferating <laughs> it and, and dragging uh, okay. the star I'm... of Pretty Woman's name through the dirt. Anton, how are we doing on uh I've locked it away. I'm gonna look it up later. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's Google Richard Gear uh Anal gerbil beads. or oh, hamster. Oh, Yo, what? I think I've heard of this now. All right, uh, let's move on to Natty's board. Natty, here's what you're going to be dealing with today. Your first card okay. is you haven't gotten to watch Tiger King yet, which did you watch Tiger King? Peak early pandemic. Yeah, this is yeah, this, this game is showing its release date right now. <laughs> I've never I, I've never seen Tiger King. I, I held out for a while and then I just was like, all right, I gotta 
I don't know if I have interest. Was it worth it? I mean, it's wild, but you know, he's it's. Uh, did y'all see the story about? Did y'all see the story about how they were so confident that he was gonna get oh, a, get a good pardon? Yeah, so crazy. All right, so that's a twelve on the scale. Let's check out the next card you're gonna be dealing with. Uh, your significant other is a pillow. Um, so real life. Okay. Okay. All right. So real life for Natty is a 56. <laughs> and let's check out her third card. Uh, um, your dick is stuck in a vacuum cleaner. So let's, uh, this is gender nonspecific. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or if you want to uh, project yourself into some other corporeal form uh, and just know that that's a 68, almost nice uh, okay. on the scale. Uh, you're going to be dealing nice. with, we're going to try to place diarrhea, Ooh. no toilet paper Ooh. on the scale. What, what are you thinking, Natty? Tough. Uh, I'm thinking, wow. You know what? Uh, you know, I feel like that's happened to all of us at some point. You just kind of like scooch it to the shower maybe or something. I don't know. Reach for whatever's nearby. <laughs> try to find like a napkin or... <laughs> <laughs> okay well uh, so compared to what you're dealing with like would you think I, it's like i think the pure sadness of the significant other pillow beats that out okay it's a, it's a lingering pain or you know and so like yeah, possibly it's like a deep pain yeah i think it's definitely worse than tiger king though so i'm gonna say it's between not watching tiger king yet and then significant other okay pillow. so we think between a 12 and a 56 let's check with our judges oh that is correct all right Oof. this crew uh we're dealing with some technical difficulties but not in the game itself <laughs> you guys are like owning the game we're having no gameplay difficulties all right so we're going to add that to natty's board and uh, Ivy is going to need to keep pace uh, with her fellow contestants. And now she'll be dealing with four cards. Uh, Anton, are we ready to see Ivy's board? Mm -hmm. This is the moment of truth, really. There oh. it is. Okay, we got four cards on there and a new card popping out of my head now. Possums in your attic. Fun fact about me, I love possums. I think they're adorable. Ivy, how do you feel about possums? Mm -mm. And tell mm -mm. me to get uh, four. If, if, if anything that's rodent-like, rodent-adjacent, or... Possums, any... I'll have you know, are North America's only marsupial. I know, I know. But my thing is, you, they, they, they are, mar but they, they just remind me of... Sorry, it... Anyway. It's okay. I, I don't. I don't have hard feelings. It is creepy I'm not or something myself. sometimes. I'm just an advocate for them. right. <laughs> so anyway, so I would say, however, no, it is really like you have to call, you know, all yeah. types of folks and pay all types of money to get them safely. Wait, hold on. We have the the real quick. The card on on Ivy's board is the dick stuck in vacuum cleaner, which is Natty's card. Anton. Oops. Do you remember what your other card was? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Uh, oh, the PPE. Yeah, the toilet paper. The PPE, the hoarding PPE. Yeah, it was uh -huh. like a 74. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, so just knowing that, we'll fix this, the board anyway. But we'll say we'll say instead of... We're going to fix it really quick. Okay. Possums in the attic. I would say this would go in between... No. Uh, wait, hold on. It would be less than your employer bouncing your paycheck because that just means you have no money, which would then make it really hard to, you know, get the possums. To afford the possum? To afford yeah, the possum. The possum. Yeah, there, there's, there's the new board. All right, so do you, okay. do you think it's between 23 and 59.5? Is that what you're saying? I would say so. All right, let's check with our judges. That is correct. Ivy's keeping pace. It's a 51. So Ivy's now going to have five on her board. And we're moving on to Aaron. Aaron, are you a, uh, a fan of North America's Only Marsupial? Uh, not really, but they're cool. They, 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 
Uh, one of my favorite Twitter accounts that I follow, shout out to them, is Possums Every Hour. Every Hour, it's just a cute possum <laughs> photo. Bless the feed. Uh, shout, out, shout out to Possums Every Hour. Uh, this is an unsponsored post. This is, this is just legitimate promo for Possums Every Hour. Non-paid day. partnership. Non-paid <laughs> partnership, yeah. So Ivy's going to jump up to five. And uh, Aaron, your card is Dead Batteries. Take the illustration however you want it. But there's a definite implication there. Okay. So we're just talking dead batteries. It could be just in general. Remote. Remote. Yeah, okay. I don't think it, I don't think this means necessarily, you know, your your vibrator. Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks like nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, 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 yeah, where how are we feeling about this? What's your initial reaction? That's pretty low because you can go to the store and just get some more. So yeah. I'll. I want to say uh, it's lower than drunk text your ex. So we think it's lower than your lowest low? Mm-hmm. All right, let's check with our judges. Uh, that The ding was there, and there it goes. Yes, that Ooh. is correct, 8.5. We got you guys, but, like, here's the thing about this game. I don't know if you want to be too good at it, because it might say you've got a shitty life. <laughs> 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 Right, like that, like the people who we played, where they just like can't get a right answer for their life. I'm like, you know, bless your heart, and I don't necessarily mean that in like the Texas way. Like I'm like, <laughs> like that's that's amazing that you don't know some of this stuff. That's crazy. All right, uh, we're gonna get a new. We're moving on to Natty's board. Natty, you two have four. Uh, you need oh. to keep pace with Aaron, who's about to have five on his board. Everyone, we're a hundred percent, so no pressure. The f- next person to get it wrong is going to be the first person to get it wrong. So, Natty, your card, which just popped out, is a cold or something more serious, which is very ominous in this age uh, of the pandemic. I know that I've personally dealt with allergies or coronavirus a couple times. That's that's a fun game show wait, that's sweeping oh, the nation. Oh, um, you know, like hangover or, or COVID. Yeah. It's a very real thing. too much last night or. Yeah, exactly. Like, why is my throat all scratched up? Uh, have you dealt with that? Yeah, it's exactly the smoking and then the, um, like, just doing too much voice acting or something like that and having, like, a raspy throat and freaking out about it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's And, and WebMD is no help. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you thinking here, Nat? I think it's. I think it does depend on who you are and maybe possible, possibly what you, how you feel about that virus. But uh, I would say for me, that's like higher than the highest high. So you think it's higher than a 68? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think there's the thing is it doesn't necessarily say anything. It's just like that moment of fear. Yeah. Let's check with the judges. Oh, no. I take it way too seriously then. You take it too seriously. Or I You're take a hypochondriac. It you need I to remember that you smoked all that shit. <laughs> the latter. The latter. Okay, so now, Ivy, were you paying attention? Do you know what it where it doesn't fall on the scale? And are you going to be able to apply that to how you could you have a chance to steal? Yes. So where do you oh, think man. it falls on your board? Oh man. Okay, hold on. Let me let me recall. Visual recall. Hold on. Um. Oh, you wanna, uh, if if you have a pen and paper handy, it could be helpful. It could. I cl- Thanks for the heads up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I usually share that earlier, and I forgot. Oh wow. Well, um, so it doesn't matter. So I would say that. It falls in between. Now I'm just biting my, like, just upset because I just didn't. You, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I could have just paid attention to the screen. But, oh, man. Um, the way I think about it is I tend to, like, well, I'll, like, you know, look, I'll identify one card and be like, is it higher or lower than that? It's like that game where you have to just follow that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So for the sake of um, being expeditious here, I would say that it would, for me personally at this point, from a year round allergy suffer. Well, from spring 2020. Yeah. Facts. Um, it would be somewhere in between. 
possums in your attic and your employer bouncing your check because all right so between yeah. 51 and 59.5 let's check with our judges no i clearly wasn't paying attention so, so aaron have you been paying attention because now you get a chance to steal and to jump out to like a commanding lead over natty anyway how are you feeling about this? You've got some big ranges. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a good range. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We need to move dead yeah. batteries over if we can. Uh, on the board. But otherwise, what are you thinking? Yeah. Uh, it, has to, it has to be between uh, season tickets and anal beads. Or that's so what we, I'm thinking. So we think it's between a 29.5 and a 94. I mean, yeah. that's that's some, some, some generous math you're dealing with there. Yeah. Let's check with the judges. That is correct. Oh, wow. Right, cool. So Aaron, mm. now, at, now at six, based off the strength of the steel, we're going to go right back to Natty, uh, and Natty can, uh, can, tie, can tie Ivy and, uh, and get right back in this thing. Uh, we need to drop the card and get a new one and check out uh, Natty's shits. So, yeah, uh, I guess unless you're Aaron and you have, like, 70-point ranges to deal with, the game does get a lot easier each time um, or get more difficult each time. Yeah. Now to your card is you've watched every white house briefing and that is, that is a Accurate. fine illustration that we're dealing with there. <laughs> what I did. Uh, yeah. Are, are you like one of these, like you're watching every day at four o'clock, the briefings. Listen to it. If I could. Yeah. Uh, oh God. How do you feel about having done that? While they were still happening last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, oh boy. Oh man. Misery index. So not like annoyance, not like. No, it's how miserable is it? Oh my God. Uh, I want to say it's not as miserable as getting your dick stuck in a vac vacuum cleaner, but yeah, I, oof. I think, yeah, I think it's between your significant others, a pillow and your dicks in a vacuum. All right, let's check with our judges between 56 and 68. No. Oh my God. All right, Ivy. So Aaron should have six points, actually. Ivy, you're going to get a chance to, to tie here. So you're paying attention that time and know where it isn't. <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you, are you a big, uh, you know, uh, press conference watcher with the White House briefings? I mean, uh, for the last couple of that, it was it got real interesting for a little while. It got <laughs> yeah, better than you got the better than your the highlights show. are crazy. But do you want to watch every one of them? No, um, I don't want to. But so yeah, <laughs> I would I would say that it would probably fall. Oh, um, wait, hold on. Ivy's <laughs> definitely part of Team Overthink. Yeah, it is. Now I'm like, so does this mean it's definitely not um <laughs> yeah, the worst thing that could happen? Is, is is this is this a gut game or do you really want to analyze it? I, yeah, I don't know. I see this is where the the over the, the overthinker and we an over analyzer has to just like shut down. Um I would say that um maybe in between you're giving your kid giving the dog a peanut butter bath and and possums in the attic. So between a twenty three and a fifty one, let's check with the judges. That is correct. Wow. Ivy's maintaining pace with Aaron. Aaron uh, still hasn't missed uh, a guess yet, but uh, you know the law of averages is is, is not in his favor. <laughs> um, we're gonna uh, so we're. Now tied, we've got Ivy with six, Aaron with six, Natty with four, but uh, plenty of time to to uh, to catch up as we are racing to eight. Um, Aaron, let's check out your board now. There should be six cards on there, and a new card popping out of my head. Uh, cat turds on your carpet, but you don't own a cat. How we feel about this? You you a cat person? Nah, I'm allergic to cats, okay. so. Yeah, so this is like a this could be a big deal. Yeah, this could be a big deal. But what, what so what what yeah, what do you walk me through it? I because it's not it it's a bad thing, or it's like it's 
in my my opinion, is pretty terrible. But I think it's not as bad as a cold. Okay. You, yeah. So I want to say between season tickets and cold. So we were going to say between a 29.5 and a 46. We're getting nods from Natty, who likes the guess. Let's check with the judges. No. Okay. So it's not between a 29.5 and 46. Natty, you're going to get a chance to steal. Are you a cat person, Natty? Uh, I'm allergic to cats as well, but I I am a, I have dogs. I like cats. Okay. I just, you know, sneeziness. How oh, we feel about cat turds, though? Uh, I mean, I had a roommate with cats, so I eh, little cat turd knowledge. So were you just like popping Claritin on the daily? If yeah, if the cat was around me, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right. Well, where are we thinking on your range here? Oh my god, I feel like I feel like it's got to be between twelve and forty-two. Between 12 and 42, let's check More with the judges. More concerning than Tiger King. Between Tiger King and Diarrhea with no toilet paper. That is correct. Natalie's All on right. the move back up the leaderboard. Oof. And uh, she jumps up to five and will add a 20.5 to her board. So at this point, we all should have a pretty solid understanding of what we're dealing with here and the wide, wide range of scenarios we're, we're dealing with. Um, I've heard rumor that they're working on a new edition. I think, you know... This is clearly like the pandemic edition. I don't know, like the they're like pandemic 2.0. We'll see. I know I know they're working on some stuff. Um, are we ready to check out Ivy's Wait, pandemic edition first week of January 20? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. What, what would be in that? Like oh January could have three different versions. Of- okay, so Ivy, you are the most eligible bachelorette in Dallas. How are you doing with a clingy relationship? Man, those are rough. Those yeah. are really rough. I I have I can't let me tell you something. I don't even have to think past this because I they're just emotionally, physically, spiritual, like they're just draining. They're like the biggest yeah. leak that you could yeah, ever it's have. Like, it's like quicksand. Yeah. Couldn't say the better myself. So I'm just gonna go above my phone dying. Do you think this is worth higher than a 78.5? Uh, uh, for, for me, for me it is. I'm willing to I'm higher. willing to take the L. I get it, and I love the conviction behind it. Let's check with our judges. Oh, Oh. come on. No. (laughs) So, Mr. Steal Your Card, Aaron, uh, is now back with another chance to steal. Uh, Pretty boy, Aaron, you've got six to deal with. Yeah. Clingy relationship. How are we feeling? Maybe... uh... Has this kind of top subject yeah. matter popped up in your songwriting yet? Uh, not yet. Oh no, yeah, and and, and a newer song it has. Okay, yeah, because I'm, I'm not a big fan of them. But okay, uh, let's see. Me neither, Aaron. I mean, yeah. I don't think anyone like the word clingy like implies bad. Like no one's yeah. like, I love a clingy relationship. No, yeah. one, like no one's saying that shit. <laughs> Says no one ever. Yeah, no one's like. I just wish, like, I wish it was more clingy. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, how are you feeling? Where, 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 what cards are you looking at? I want to say a cold and anal beads. So we're saying, so we're, I think you're just Mr. Numbers playing. That's not even fair, man. 94. <laughs> Let's check with the judges. That That's is not correct. fair. Yep. <laughs> that is correct. Yes, sir. It's the way it's the way the cookie crumbles with the, you know, like we randomize the numbers here just as you know you would with you know shuffling them. In in uh in the in the, the, the oh my me Pete tangible oh, set me. uh no I, I mean we 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 screwed up the the we fixed this for Aaron everyone knows that yeah this is, we are we are uh the fix is in for Pretty Boy Aaron thank All you right, Aaron I appreciate it Aaron's got got seven uh we're gonna add the fifty five point five to his board uh and Natty's gonna get a chance to keep pace with Ivy and here's the deal with Aaron his next card he'll have the chance to win because we're racing to eight. So uh, it's it's kind of like put up or shut up time for Natty and Ivy. And we got to, you know, we got to be rooting for Aaron to not quite get over. Uh, Natty, you've got five cards on uh, your board and your new card that you're dealing with is same movie over and over. Hmm. I think in this situation, like. That's all the entertainment you can possibly have access to. Oh, no. What's the movie you've seen the most, Natty? 
Ooh. Uh. Oof. Aaron Ivy, like you guys got Star quick Wars answers movies there? or something. So long, farewell. A bit yeah. to say. The sound of that. music for Ivy, Aaron. What do you? What do you? Obsessed. Uh, st- straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Yeah. All right, I, Natty. What did you say your yours was? Revenge of the Sith, probably. Okay. All right. I'm a Karate Kid guy myself. Ah. The original. Uh, so same movie and over, over and over. Revenge of the Sith. It's just stuck on your your TV. I would love it. <laughs> Okay, so does that uh, mean it's lower than your lowest lower? Where are we looking? Uh, I feel like it's somewhere between Tiger King and Diarrhea, but all right, we're we're gonna sit. Oh well, that's a broad, gotta, broad range. Yeah, I gotta figure out where uh, cat turds. Uh, temporary problem, right? Diarrhea yeah, I mean, is just so. Grab a oh, Cooper it, scooper and take care of that business. Or it could be worse than diarrhea because that's a one-time deal unless you just never have toilet paper. Yeah, it's kind of like, you, y'all remember that? Like, this is like a real lamb chop sing-along. This is the song that never ends type situation. Yeah. Okay, I think maybe the pillow is still sadder though, but that's such a small window, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to say the... let it. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Between diarrhea and pillow. Between diarrhea and pillow. So is uh, this between move. Is this between a 42 oh, and a 56? It is. Wow. Snipe action. Major snipe wow. action there from Natty. Calculated. Keep your pace with Ivy. Ivy, <laughs> uh, Ivy's now gonna have a chance to, to catch up to Aaron with seven. And Natty's keeping pace. We got a competitive game here, folks. Uh the action's always hot when shit happens. You know, it, this is hot shit happens. Um, this ain't cold shit happens. Um, well, I just uh, I just applauded myself on the soundboard for that joke, which is totally not <laughs> necessary because uh, it, it wasn't that good. All right, we're uh, we're now on to Ivy's board. Ivy, uh, let's get a new card for you to check out to tie Aaron. Not even bots match you on. Tinder. Oh, that's good. Ivy, good. Ivy, how's are you? Uh, are you a uh, are you a dating app user? I've the tried. Most eligible bachelorette in Dallas. Is she? I've dating tried. App? I literally forgot. Um, those there's one that starts with R. Raya. Um, Raya. Raya. Yes, I was on Raya for a little bit, but I was like, "What is it?" And like, I got really irritated because I'm like, so I can only swipe until. Like a cert, it was just the limitations and everything just sure, weren't sure. working for me. So, uh, but you've been on there, have you? Have yeah, you had with, have you had to deal with bots at all? No, um, I thank God because I think that it just ultimately peed me off because I just feel like that's not the place, you know what I mean? Like, that's but, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. But let's really assume... emotional, volatile, like emotionally volatile space for bots to enter. Like, we just messed up. So I think that's the question of this card, though, is is it worse to match with bots or absolutely nothing? <laughs> so it's not even bots funny. match with you on Tinder. How are you that's... feeling on the scale? I mean, that would be pretty shitty. Like, yeah. I, I don't know if for me personally, I don't know if it's worse than my phone dying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just facts, you know what I mean? No. Uh, but then the windows that I have are rather unfair. Well, they're not unfair. They're rather slim. I don't so, know. At this point, though, because, like, I mean, let's look at it on a strict math point. You've got 23 at the top from zero to 23. 27.5 to 51 is another like 20 point range. You got some big range between 59.5 and 73, 78.5 and up. I mean, th- yeah, they're all kind of the same, I think, is the issue. You see what I'm saying, though? Okay. So I will say, if, if from, from a self confidence standpoint, that could be a stinger. That could be a big, like, ouch. You know what I mean? So do the Brit do they like does will Tinder even allow that or do they will they like send you some bots just to, like make you feel better <laughs> like keep your engagement with the app up you know I think that's hilarious <laughs> all right Pete. somebody super liked you yeah right? <laughs> it's like catfish meets you know 
Okay, so here's what I'm going to go with. I am going to bet that serve, they surveyed 100 people and it, because I, I think everything for me falls in the 100 Family people. feud. Sample size. Yes, it's the sample <laughs> size. All right, so we're going to go with somewhere in between. Wow. I really and I, hold on disclaimer. I really don't like losing. I don't do well with losing. Yeah, this is when the win, it's always at this point in the game when it's like, oh, someone's about to win. The, the, exactly. The, the, the like, I'm not gonna be the one to lose. All right, yeah, for real. I know we're trying to end this at some point. Um, I will say that it is somewhere between your employer bouncing your check and you're being accused of hoarding PPE. All right, so we're so. saying between 59.5 and 73. Let's check with the judges. No. No. All right, Aaron, Mr. Steal Your Card is what we're calling him because he's just like here to steal. Aaron, if you get this right, this is game point. If you get this right, you win. The game's over. We all go home. All right, Aaron, are you on Tinder? I've been like multiple times. And this shit has happened to me before. You, so you've, yeah. you've matched with bots. Have you ever? So yeah, and I've also matched, or I haven't gotten matches, like even not with bots. So like this has happened. So you've been there. So yeah. Okay. So I understand now, this pain. How are you feeling? Do you feel the pain? Does this like? Mm-hmm. Does this like? Is this like a stab in the heart, or is it like been yeah. there? No big deal. It's like, depressing. How are you living? How are you living right now, Aaron? Oh I yeah, think. I'm straight right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> but if this is during like uh quarantine, that's yeah, I mean that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, this is this is some mm-hmm. big natty sleeping with her pillow energy. No. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean okay. Yeah, no, no, based off the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I don't know how you live. I think you meant because I was like leaning back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Aaron, how are we feeling? Where does this feel? Um, I want to say, I feel like it's gonna be wrong, but clingy relationship and anal beads. I want to say. <laughs> you're saying between. Oh, you're you're just missing numbers. Man, like and y'all yeah, what? Point five and ninety four. Let's check with the judges. Yeah. <sighs> no. All right, Natty. Natty, are you Millie rocking? <laughs> I think she was just Millie rocking. <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna. Uh, say- let's Millie rock our way to to a tie with Aaron. <laughs> Where are you gonna, feeling this fall? I'm going to just go ahead and say it's higher than 68, my highest card. Higher than 68. Let's check with the judges. No. no. This one wasn't that bad. This one was a 16.5. Oh. That was my initial inclination, honestly. I mm. thought. Like, no big the, deal. On to the next. I just didn't want to come off real cocky. Tinder. Yeah, I like. Was, I, I was thinking, like, peak isolation yeah and like yeah. oh my god okay, I'm touched that. maybe, well that's maybe that's maybe the effect of this pandemic having lasted so long oh man this was just spring that right? was me like, like a weekend so <laughs> all right ivy we're back with you and your, your scenario is maybe this is specifically why we're glad we didn't name drop any corporations because your scenario is <laughs> condom stuck in vagina higher than my phone dying i'm sorry that's clearly very hey 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 that's clearly very up there on my um, worst fears list. Okay. Without we'll a doubt. And again, I play this game not from a number perspective. I've played this from a truly like how would Ivy feel perspective. I'd be freaked <laughs> out. So okay. you've experienced, uh, I'm not even going to guess, but we're, I'm not going to go there. But yeah, we're high, you're saying higher than a 78.5. Let's check with the judges. And if it's not, I need answers. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I need answers. Uh, uh, you can write in to uh, at Games Adults Play on Instagram. But Aaron, Aaron, it's going to be your chance to steal here. Uh, Aaron, have you ever had a condom stuck in your vagina? Nah, all right, not that I know of. So, <laughs> not that you know of. I lo- I lo- I- I- Mr. Man of mystery over here. I love it. He's leaving a little bit of there, a little bit of the lore there. All right. Uh, how looking at looking at your uh, your board? What what comes to mind? So it's not above seventy eight, and I feel like it's very close to the dick stuck in vacuum. 
So I'm gonna have to try the 55 to 94 range again. So yeah, clean your numbers game. Yeah. Checking all checking all the numbers. Let's check with the judges. Ooh. That is correct, Aaron. Wow, Pretty boy, Aaron. Go. You are our victor tonight. Let's go. You will be winning a prize pack from our friends at Games Adults Play. You will be getting shit happens. You'll be getting shit happens. Spring 2020 pandemic edition. Probably the sex version too. You'll be getting friend or foe and other drinking games and all sorts of stuff. Oh, Guys, thank you so much for each playing with us uh, today. This has been uh, a lot of fun. We've we've learned a lot about everyone involved <laughs> and uh, it's been a blast. Let's go through and talk to everyone real quick and, and uh, just talk about like where people can find more of you. Ivy, I think we mentioned at the top of this 214 days coming up. What's going on with you for that? Yes, you know, uh, I just, the, my favorite place of inspiration, Central Track, <laughs> you know, um, well, okay. might be picking some stuff up. I just feel like, you, should do you it. know, why not? Uh, you know what? I just, let's drop, let's drop the coinus. Let's do I it. I posted on, on Twitter and it was like 214 days coming up. It's Valentine's Day. There's some record shops in town that celebrated as a Dallas holiday because the area code Ivy posted about it. And I was like, yo, Ivy, let's get a mix up. Are we going to do a mix? We're going to do a mix. All right. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's on record. It's happening. Uh, Ivy, where can people see more of you? Oh, man. I've been showing out lately on my Insta, yo. I just listen at Poison Ivy the DJ. If I do say so myself, I'm sorry. It's just one of those things. But um, at Poison oh. Ivy the DJ, P O I Z O N I V Y T H E D J on Facebook, Insta, Snapchat, all that. Um, and then of Very course, just poisonivythedj.com. So, Love but it. follow Ivy, me and say hi, speak, please. Ivy, thank you. And you can see her at some of your favorite professional sports league games, yes, uh, as well. Uh, let's go on to Natty next. Natty, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to play with us. Where can people see more of you? Um, all over the internet doing stupid stuff. Uh, you can find me at the zombie unicorn with no E in zombie because I'm an idiot. And that's pretty much <laughs> everything like Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok. on Twitch. It's just like zombie unicorn. No E, but yeah, I, uh, I do a lot of stuff, gaming and weed cooking show and hop on that <laughs> Twitch, follow Natalie and, uh, follow her journey. It's wild. And the comments are wild. And it's a cool little community <laughs> community you've built there. So uh, props to you, and thank you for taking the time. Lastly, our champion, Aaron. Aaron, I forgot to even mention this, but I think we're our, our next taping is going to be a round of champions. Aaron, will you come back and defend your title? Yeah, of course. And Aaron, where can people see more of you? Uh, Twitter and Instagram, uh, at Aaron is pretty. You can also, like, Google Pretty Boy Aaron on Google, and you'll find me. You'll find Should stuff. they check you out on any preferred audio mediums, or where can they hear your music? Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube. It, it's it's pretty much everywhere. So it, It's everywhere, and so is the shitty stuff that life hands our way. Folks, mm -hmm. thanks for uh, uh, tuning in and, and playing with us. Thanks to our players for playing. Uh, when shit happens, Central Track will be there. And we appreciate you all watching. Thanks, everyone. And uh, we'll see you all.